Fra Luca Bartolomeo de Pacioli was an Italian mathematician, Franciscan friar, collaborator with Leonardo da Vinci, and a seminal contributor to the field now known as accounting. He is referred to as the father of accounting and bookkeeping, and he was the first person to publish a work on the double-entry system of bookkeeping. He was also called Luca di Borgo after his birthplace, Borgo San Sepulcro, Tuscany. Life. Luca Pacioli was born between 1446 and 1448 in San Sepulcro where he received an Abaco education. This was education in the vernacular rather than Latin and focused on the knowledge required of merchants. He moved to Venice around 1464, where he continued his own education while working as a tutor to the three sons of a merchant. It was during this period that he wrote his first book, a treatise on arithmetic for the boys he was tutoring. Between 1472 and 1475, he became a Franciscan friar. In 1475, he started teaching in Perugia, first as a private teacher, from 1477 holding the first chair in mathematics. He wrote a comprehensive textbook in the vernacular for his students. He continued to work as a private tutor of mathematics and was, in fact, instructed to stop teaching at this level in San Sepulcro in 1491. In 1494, his first book to be printed, Summadha Arithmetica, Geometra, Proportiona e Proportionalita, was published in Venice. In 1497, he accepted an invitation from Duke Ludovico S. Forza to work in Milan. There he met, taught mathematics to, collaborated and lived with Leonardo da Vinci. In 1499, Pacioli and Leonardo were forced to flee Milan when Louis XII of France seized the city and drove out their patron. Their paths appear to have finally separated around 1506. Pacioli died at about the age of 70 in 1517, most likely in San Sepulcro where it is thought that he had spent much of his final years. Mathematics Pacioli published several works on mathematics, including Tractatus Mathematicus ad Discipulos Perusinos, a textbook of almost 600 pages dedicated to his students at the University of Perugia where Pacioli was teaching from 1477 to 1480. The manuscript was written between December 1477 and 29 April 1478. It contains 16 sections on merchant arithmetic, such as barter, exchange, profit, mixing metals, and algebra. One part of 25 pages is missing from the chapter on algebra. A modern transcription has been published by Calzoni and Cavazzoni as well as a partial translation of the chapter on partitioning problems. Summadha Arithmetica, Geometra, Proportiona e Proportionalita, a textbook for use in the schools of northern Italy. It was a synthesis of the mathematical knowledge of his time and contained the first printed work on algebra written in the vernacular. It is also notable for including the first published description of the method of bookkeeping that Venetian merchants used during the Italian Renaissance, known as the double-entry accounting system. The system he published included most of the accounting cycle as we know it today. He described the use of journals and ledgers, and warned that a person should not go to sleep at night until the debits equaled the credits. His ledger had accounts for assets, liabilities, capital, income, and expenses, the account categories that are reported on an organization's balance sheet and income statement, respectively. He demonstrated year-end closing entries and proposed that a trial balance be used to prove a balanced ledger. He is widely considered the father of accounting. Also, his treatise touches on a wide range of related topics from accounting ethics to cost accounting. He introduced the rule of 72, using an approximation of 100 asterisk lane to more than 100 years before Napier and Briggs. The Very Biz Quantitatus, a treatise on mathematics and magic. Written between 1496 and 1508 it contains the first reference to card tricks as well as guidance on how to juggle, eat fire and make coins dance. 
It is the first work to note that Leonardo was left-handed. The Viribis Quantitatus is divided into three sections, mathematical problems, puzzles and tricks, and a collection of proverbs and verses. The book has been described as the foundation of modern magic and numerical puzzles, but it was never published and sat in the archives of the University of Bologna, seen only by a small number of scholars since the Middle Ages. The book was rediscovered after David Singmaster, a mathematician, came across a reference to it in a 19th-century manuscript. An English translation was published for the first time in 2007. Geometry, a Latin translation of Euclid's elements. The Divina Proportiona. Two versions of the original manuscript are extant, one in the Bibliotheca Ambrosiana in Milan the other in the Bibliothèque Publique Universitaire in Geneva. The subject was mathematical and artistic proportion, especially the mathematics of the golden ratio and its application in architecture. Leonardo da Vinci drew the illustrations of the regular solids in De Divina Proportiona while he lived with and took mathematics lessons from Pacioli. Leonardo's drawings are probably the first illustrations of skeletonized solids, which allowed an easy distinction between front and back. The work also discusses the use of perspective by painters such as Piero della Francesca, Milozzo da Filai, and Marco Parmesano. As a side note, the M logo used by the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City is taken from De Divina Proportiona. Translation of Piero della Francesca's work The majority of the second volume of Summa Arithmetica, Geometra, Proportiona A Proportionalita was a slightly rewritten version of one of Piero della Francesca's works. The third volume of Pacioli's De Divina Proportiona was an Italian translation of Piero della Francesca's Latin writings on the five regular solids. In neither case did Pacioli include an attribution to Piero. He was severely criticized for this and accused of plagiarism by 16th century art historian and biographer Giorgio Vasari. R. Emmett Taylor said that Pacioli may have had nothing to do with the translated volume De Divina Proportiona, and that it may just have been appended to his work. However, no such defense can be presented concerning the inclusion of Piero della Francesca's material in Pacioli's Summa, Chess. Pacioli also wrote an unpublished treatise on chess, De Ludo Scacorum, long thought to have been lost. A surviving manuscript was rediscovered in 2006 in the 22,000-volume library of Count Guglielmo Caronini. A facsimile edition of the book was published in Pacioli's hometown of San Sepulcro in 2008. Based on Leonardo da Vinci's long association with the author and his having illustrated a Divina Proportiona, some scholars speculate that Leonardo either drew the chess problems that appear in the manuscript or at least designed the chess pieces used in the problems.